Hi, I'm State Representative Clint Owlett here at the Farm Show, and today was a very special day for the Jackson family. Dean and Rebecca, thank you so much for coming down. They were, were the second recipients of the Leopold Conservation Award, which is a national award, uh, and they were uh, named the uh, winners here in Pennsylvania uh, this year. So Dean and Rebecca, congratulations. What does this mean for you guys? Well, that means a great deal. Um, conservation is deep in our blood at Mount Glen Farms for three generations. Um, yeah, we put all this together and once we accumulated all we've done over the years, it was kind of shocking, but glad that Nate and his staff put this together and it was just nice to have it. I never dreamed we'd be here as a winner. Well, and that's, that's a good point. This didn't just happen, you know, this year. This has been a process, right? So, so Mike and Nate, tell us a little bit about the process. How did we get here uh, to this point today? Well, it's just been a, a privilege to work with the Jackson family, not only with Dean, but his, his dad, Ben, I got the privilege to work with them. And so it's just been a long generation, multi-generation, you know, conservation first on their farm. And so it's just a privilege to, to be working with them on conservation throughout the years and continue it to the next generation. Nate, tell us what this means for Bradford County as a whole. I mean, to be, to be named the winner of this award as a county is kind of a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal, and we're going we're gonna to have fun telling the story. We've already had fun telling the story with Dean and Rebecca, and being a part of that's been a joy. But we will definitely you know, use this to promote conservation in Bradford County and beyond, so it'll, more to come. It'll be good. So thank you so much, you guys, for all of your work and, and, and effort to make sure that you are, are utilizing the, the gifts and the talents that you have and the resources on your farm. It's amazing. So if you have a chance and you see them out in Bradford County or around the state of Pennsylvania now, shake their hands and say thank you. The Leopold Conservation Award is presented by the Wisconsin-based Sands County Foundation. Uh, the Leopold Award recognizes an ag landowner agricultural landowner that participates in the state who is actively committed to demonstrating a strong conservation ethic in their farming operation. The award's named after Aldo Leopold, who was considered America's foremost conservation thinker and land conservation philosopher. The Leopold Award recognizes extraordinary achievement in voluntary conservation by private landowners, inspires other landowners by example, and provides a prominent platform by which ag community leaders are recognized as conservation leaders and ambassadors. The award program builds on bridges between agriculture, government, environmental organizations, industry and academia to advance the cause of private lands conservation across our, across our nation. This is the second year that a recipient from Pennsylvania is being recognized. At the national level, the Leopold Conservation Award program since 2003 has recognized more than 100 farm families who are outstanding community leaders, stewards of the land and water, and wildlife in their care. I'd like to take this opportunity now to introduce uh, Lance Irving. Lance Irving is the director of the Leopold Conservation Awards program for the Sands County Foundation. Lance took the helm of this award program in 2016 after more than 15 years of experience in the outdoor sporting goods industry and prior to that as a professional wilderness hunting and fishing guide. So I've had the pleasure of working with Lance to, to last year to bring this program to Pennsylvania and it's the first time uh, I had an opportunity to work with Lance and he presents and brings an incredible vision and commitment uh, to this conservation award and to conservation programs across the board. So with that, I'd like to introduce Lance Irving. Well, thank you, Carl. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as Carl mentioned, my name is Lance Irving. I'm the National Director of the Leopold Conservation Award Program for CN County Foundation, and it, it truly is an honor and a privilege to be here with you in Harrisburg today. The Leopold Conservation Award recognizes the very best in conservation on private working lands. It's a program that is designed to showcase some of those amazing land stewards that are quietly achieving great things within our communities. The 1% of Americans that are directly engaged in agriculture and forestry make an incredible impact on our environment, both at the local and national scale. 
The Leopold Conservation Award honors and recognizes these farmers and foresters for their outstanding achievement doing successful conservation practices on private working land. While the program is only in its second year here in Pennsylvania, this program began nationally in 2003, and Pennsylvania is surely making up for lost time with another wonderful, wonderful recipient. The land management practices that this family engages in voluntarily improves our environment and their bottom line. This family is improving water quality, soil health, wildlife habitat, and opportunities for outdoor recreation. Aldo Leopold, for whom the award is named, was an American landowner, ecologist, forester, conservationist, and author. A quote from Leopold that I think is pertinent for today is from 1937. In 1937, Leopold stated, we seem ultimately always thrown back on individual ethics as a basis of conservation policy. It is hard to make a man by pressure of law or money do a thing which does not spring naturally from his own personal sense of right and wrong. Leopold's idea of a land ethic inspires Sand County Foundation's devotion to the cause of conservation leadership by private landowners. Dean and Rebecca Jackson, along with their family, are proving that that land ethic is alive and well in Pennsylvania today. This land ethic is not new to the Jackson family. Multiple generations have utilized the very best in conservation practices of their particular era to create a better situation for the next generation. This passion for conservation and agriculture might be best summed up by a story Dean told me while I was visiting his farm this fall. His grandfather turned down an opportunity with the Brooklyn Dodgers after being drafted because he wanted to be able to farm the scenic hills of Bradford County. A love of the land and wanting to do right by it is clearly a family trait. The Sand County Foundation presents this award nationally in soon to be 24 states, and each recipient is an ambassador of creative natural resources management on working lands. Joining our last year's recipients, the DeFebo family, the Jacksons are creating a positive example of what is possible today in Pennsylvania. Of course, this program would not be possible without the collaboration of our partners and sponsors. On behalf of San County Foundation, I would like to personally thank the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau, Heinz Endowments, USDA NRCS, the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture, the Pennsylvania Association of Conservation Districts, the Nature Conservancy, and McDonald's for making this possible. I am truly privileged to be here to talk to you a little bit about this, this latest phenomenal land steward joining a prestigious group of other land stewards. Their land ethic, conservation achievements, and story is one worth being told and being celebrated. Please join me in watching a short film that can better describe what the Jacksons have achieved than I can say with words. My name is Dean Jackson. Our farm name is Mount Glen Farm. We're a 900 acre operation, registered Holsteins, male and females, as well as semen sales, and do quite a bit of cropping and sell extra hay. And I'm the third generation on this farm. My name is Rebecca Jackson. Dean and I got married in 93. We enjoy working here together. I believe that as dairy farmers, we are called to be good stewards of what we've been given from the previous generation. And we want to take care of what we've been given so that the next generation has something very good to work with. Our kids are amazing. Courtney lives in Maryland. Katie, she's here full time. She's now our herd manager. And then Kyle helps us night and morning, weekends, whenever he can. Our youngest son, Clark, still wants to be a part of our operation and he will be. 
Our farm here takes a great team to get things done right. And right now we have that team here. I've been pretty spoiled, honestly, growing up on a farm with this operation we've had here. It's been nothing but a great experience, and it's honestly taught me a lot of life lessons. We really respect the things that have gotten us to this point in this operation, so that we have the opportunity to have been as successful as we have been. Yeah, our partnership with the Jackson Family Farm has gone back to the 1960s when Dean's grandfather, Scott, started operating this farm and it was one of the early innovators, one of the early adopters in obtaining a, a conservation plan. He adopted crop rotation, contour strip cropping, and that continued down to Scott's son, Ben. Ben adopted nutrient management practices, manure storages, buffers, and passed that same drive on to, to Dean. Dean started adopting soil health in the early 2000s to be able to improve that sustainability. The thing about conservation, to catch that bug and practice stewardship and be an example in your community and so forth, it adds a whole other dimension to farming that I think a lot of people don't look at. Deep down joy can come from watching that heavy rain event and having that feeling that, you know what, what we've done here in conservation is working. A good day is when we can reach out and help someone else with a problem that they're having. Because we all have problems, but if I'm only focused on my own, that keeps my head down. But when I look up and see someone else's problem that I can help solve, that's a good day. This farm is a perfect example of conservation stewardship by adopting no-till cover cropping to take up that excess nutrients to reduce the amount of compaction on their farm. They enrolled in the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program to establish riparian forest buffers, to maintain the stream bank, to improve water quality, to reduce the amount of erosion coming off their fields. You know, they understood that the stream was an important part, not only of this farm, but also of the community. Our watershed, it goes right down to Mount Pisgah State Park, and it makes us feel good knowing that that's a popular area, a beautiful place, and that we're the people that are directly affecting that area. I've read about the Aldo Leopold Award for years, and to think that I would be chosen the winner of this is it's just extremely humbling, and I, uh, I want to give back somehow, try to mentor or tutor whatever I can do to help people catch the fever of conservation. Give a round of applause for that video. An amazing video, amazing farm, and an amazing farm family that we here have, have here today to recognize. Uh, it's my pleasure now to be able to introduce Joel Rotz. Joel Rotz is the manager of the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau's Governmental Relations and Communications uh, Division. Uh, it's a pleasure to have Joel here. He's a former dairy farmer from Franklin County, a former colleague at Farm Bureau, and it's a pleasure to have Joel with us today to introduce the family. Thank you, Carl. Good morning, or afternoon. Afternoon, I'm sorry. I just want to say that on behalf of Pennsylvania Farm Bureau, we couldn't be happier and prouder to be associated with this award and to work with the Sand County Foundation, help pr promote uh, getting the word out, getting folks to apply for this award. And I can honestly say we couldn't be happier uh, about our winners today, the Jackson family, Mount Glen Farms, good Farm Bureau folks as well as good farmers, and we're just happy to be a part of this presentation today. I do want to just say, while we're giving deserving recognition today to this family's conservation efforts, Pennsylvania Farm Bureau believes it's also important to acknowledge the great work and commitment being made by Pennsylvania farmers every day to improve water quality and soil health on their farms. Despite the down economy in recent years, evaluations such as the Penn State Study of Agriculture Best Management Practices and the inspection 
of nearly 3,000 farms by own Department of Environmental Protection show that most farmers are both aware and actively responsive to their environmental responsibilities in managing their farms. And they've been making great strides, largely on their own, to attain a level of environmental quality that goes beyond what they're legally required to do. Farmers have proven over and over again their desire and willingness to implement best management practices if the financial resources are available to do so. Pennsylvania Farm Bureau believes recognition of farmers' efforts, such as we're having here today, are in vitally important to stimulating more far-reaching efforts among their peers. Thanks again to the Sand County Foundation for reaching out to provide this opportunity for Pennsylvania Farm Bureau to be part of this prestigious award. Prestigious award. We had many outstanding contestants and finalists to choose from, and we are so happy to have the Jacksons and Mount Glen Farms be this year's recipient. In many ways, they represent a very typical Pennsylvania dairy farm, but they are doing very extraordinary things, as you've seen on the video, to earn this recognition. I'll also add that Dean's known for his contagious enthusiasm for agriculture conservation, which by the way has been inspired through generations of the farm as you already heard. And that is exactly what this award is to recognize and inspire others to achieve. Be contagious enthusiasts for conservation. Congratulations Mount Glen Farms, Dean, Rebecca, the whole crew. I'd invite you to come forward and for the actual presentation of the award, and we'll have the, the whole crew come up later to pose for pictures, but for now, we'll just take Dean and Rebecca. Come on up. Let's applaud this family. Hey, this afternoon, we do have a number of uh, individuals from our legislature with us this morning that would like to uh, offer remarks and, and uh, make presentations. So I'd call first on Nick Troutman, who is a legislative aide to Senator Yaw from Bradford County. Nick. Thank you, Carl, appreciate it. Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of uh, my boss, State Senator Gene Yaw, just like to say how, how great it is to be here to recognize uh, a family from Bradford County, our district, uh, for uh, their commitment to conservation, uh, what they've done and what they continue to do in our region. Uh, while good st stewardship requires significant effort and uh, investment, it can also provide uh, and pay great dividends. So both to the landowners themselves and to all Pennsylvanians, and all residents in our district as well. When a landowner takes the time to conserve a watershed and protect their land through best management practices, we all benefit. Um, I told everyone I will be brief, but I would just like to say again, on behalf of my boss, Senator Gene Yaw, it is an honor to, to uh, recognize a family from Bradford County in our district for all your accomplishments and congratulate you on this outstanding award. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Wait till Representative Allen speaks. Sure. Okay, we'd also like to recognize Representative Clint Owlett. He's a representative from Bradford, Tioga, and parts of Potter County, and appreciate him being here today. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here, and congratulations, Dean and Rebecca. Uh, it's, it's such an honor to, to be able to represent such great farmers uh, in, the, in Bradford County. And as we've heard, the Leopold Conservation Award is a prestigious award that highlights the importance of conservation practices in the agricultural industry. Knowing how committed so many of our Pennsylvania farmers are to protecting the land and the water, that they rely on for their business. I know that the Jacksons recognize this is quite an honor and this is actually a very big deal. So thank you so much for, uh, for, your, for your work and, and you as a family working towards this goal. Your family's commitment to the environmentally friendly farming practices has made your operation a model for others throughout the Commonwealth and this country. 
Your achievements demonstrate that we don't have to make a choice between environment and economic success, but instead can boost our economic sense by being good stewards of our natural resources. And finally, by taking care of our land and our water and our wildlife habitat, you have preserved the quality of life for all of your Bradford County neighbors and beyond. I want to thank you for having us out to your farm this summer. You understand the value of farming beyond the gate. And uh, the Jacksons had members of the House and Senate out to uh, share with us a little bit about what they're doing and tell us. And I talked to uh, one of my colleagues from Philadelphia after that event, and I said, I want you to picture Gene D Dean Jackson's face when you're voting on agricultural legislation, because we need to have a face with the issues that we are dealing with in Harrisburg. So thank you for, for seeing the value in that. And thank you for your commitment to our community and our commonwealth and our environment. Congratulations and may you and your family continue to have success for years and years to come. And we were able to uh, get a citation from the House of Representatives just as a way of showing uh, appreciation for this uh, milestone and this huge accomplishment. So thank you very much. This has been overwhelming. Uh, a lot of great people come together here today. Farm Bureau, Heinz Endowment, Otto Leopold. Uh, I've done some uh, YouTube work here lately. To learn more about the Sand County Foundation and Otto Leopold, and that made me realize just what a big deal this is and how grateful we are for that. My grandfather grew up down the road two miles and he had a milk route and he showed up at where we live now to pick up that elderly gentleman's milk with milk cans in 1929. And he went to the barn and the cows weren't milked and they weren't fed and he knew that wasn't right and he went to the house and the gentleman was in the house and he was sick. And through a conversation, he asked my grandfather if he wanted to buy this place. And that's how it started, 1929. And uh, I remember when my grandfather was in his 70s, and I got my first taste of soil when I was about 10 years old, following him on an old International 1066 with an international plow. And I had a soup can, and I was following that dead furrow, and I was picking up worms to go fishing. And I know right where that was, and I know I still smell that dirt today. And maybe that's where I got hooked on soil and conservation. Who knows? But uh, I'm grateful our family is here today. My grandparents have long been gone since 1979 and 81. And my dad, Ben, who was instrumental in my partner for 40 years, he passed away four years ago. But my mom, Regina, is here today with us to represent that generation. And we're glad for that. But anyway, we're, it's easy up in Bradford County. We have a great conservation district, a great ASC office, NRCS people, and I like to, Nate doing, would you put your hand up? Mike Hannawalt. These are key guys in Bradford County. It's easy to have a relationship with a conservation district and uh, NRCS in Bradford County. These people are there for us every step of the way. Never felt offended like they're trying to police us or anything. The working relationship has always been there. And it was a conversation with Nate and I that got this going. And he put all this together, all everything we've done in the application. I never would have done it. We're very grateful for him. Folks, we're uh, in the scope of eternity. We're on this earth for just a blip, just a, a dot. We have a short period of time to make a difference, a very short period of time. And that's why we have to be on the ball and doing everything we can to conserve our natural resources, to leave it for the next generation. Again, grateful for this honor. Um, I'm so, so proud. And thank you, Lance, for everything you've done. And I hope we can be a good representative of uh, dairy farmers, especially dairy farmers, uh, in the future. Maybe be an inspiration for somebody else. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations, Dean and Rebecca. Um, to close out today, I'd like to call on uh, Secretary of Agriculture Russell Redding. Governor Tom Wolf nominated Russell Redding to serve as the 26th Secretary of Agriculture for the Commonwealth in January of 2015. He was confirmed by the Senate in May of that year. Uh, Secretary Redding is the former Dean of the School of College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences at Delaware Valley College. 
I'd like to introduce him as a good friend, an inspiring boss, and a committed conservationist. So with that, I'll turn it over to Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding. Hey, Carl, thank you. Uh, good morning, I guess afternoon now. So uh, good afternoon. One of the, uh, the benefits of being able to stand off to the side and look towards the, the audience is I get a chance to actually see the family. And I get a chance to see the generations. Regina, thank you. To Dean and Rebecca. Uh, to each of the, uh, the family members, I could pick you out as the video was playing because you were, you were chuckling with each other about what you were saying, right? But the beautiful part is you get a chance to see the family and, and at the very heart of all of the work that's done is about this family and the pride that is here uh, in this farm show complex as a result of the generational work that's done, uh, the efforts that have been made over the years, but most importantly, to be where you are and to be recognized nationally for the conservation work of the family. Dean is uh, humble in his presentation. He's very humble about it. But what amazed me as I read the application, and thank you to the Bradford County Conservation District and, and to the PACD and the State Conservation Districts, what I read in that application last night, I read it complete. It's an amazing story. It's a story of you know, conservation, and as Dean was talking about picking up the earthworms and, and really sort of that touch of the soil, but the belief that part and parcel to the family and success of being in the industry and, the, and to the family individually is the stewardship of what was going on on that farm, right? Very ingrained piece of what you do and the pride that's uh, on that farm and the property. So to be able to stand during uh, this farm show when we talk about imagining the opportunities, we just heard and saw imagining the opportunities through conservation, that the work and the belief that what is done in this generation and the next and the next is part of who we are as a family, as an industry. And to have that recognized nationally, I think is a great, great honor for Pennsylvania and certainly for the family as well. I tell the story often of my father-in-law, who in the final uh, weeks of his life some years ago, in fact, when I was transitioning back to the Department of Agriculture, in one of those private moments, I had a chance to ask him what he was most, most proud of in his life. And once you got past, it wasn't family. What he said was it was the conservation and the preservation of my farm. He couldn't have left better words or a legacy than to tell me that what he was proud of after a lifetime of agriculture was the work that he did on the farm. And when you look at the pictures of that farm today, compared to when he bought it, it was a transformation but everything he believed was on that landscape. It was about the soil, it was about the water. As I hear Dean speak and I read the application, uh, that is you. You remind me so much of that spirit that my father-in-law had for the land. There are decisions that we make in agriculture that are seasonal. There are some that are for a lifetime, and there are others that are generational. And the work that we do in conservation and what the Leopold Ward recognizes are those that we do for a generation. So I want to say thank you to Lance, the San County Foundation, to the Conservation Commission, to each of the conservation districts who are here, to NRCS, and all of those folks who contribute to this important mission of agriculture, but who also recognize our success is found in the very particles of soil. That is our legacy. So congratulations to Dean and Rebecca, to the family. To Regina, thank you for what you have done to bring us to this moment. Congratulations. Thank you. Carl?
Okay, to wrap it up here, just like to again congratulate Dean and the family uh, for the hard work, for the inspiration, and for that uh, landscape that they've painted on that ground up there, and to all the partners who had a part in it, uh, to NRCS, to PACD, to uh, all those groups and organizations that have, have helped them along the way in this path. So greatly appreciate it. With that, we'd like to close. Lance, did you have any final comments? Just very briefly, it's, uh, it, it truly is an honor uh, to be here today. And, and two, two kind of final messages that hearing all of the words being spoken today ring true for me. One is that conservation and production can and should have a symbiotic relationship. And two is that the community, the family and folks from within the community that help achieve these conservation successes. So on that note, uh, as we close out today, what I would like to do is I would in, in like to invite the entire family and all of our sponsors and partners up uh, to take a, a group photo because this is a group effort. The Jacksons have done amazing things and they've also been supported by some amazing organizations and some amazing individuals. So I'd like to recognize that this, this conservation achievement, uh, while we recognize the Jacksons for it, is a group effort uh, and I think they would agree with that. So I'd like to invite all of the partners and the sponsors, PACD, NRCS, TNC, as many different alphabet things as I can come up with here, please come up to the stage so that we can, we can capture the moment that this truly is a community effort. Thank you.